I got nail mail. I got nail mail. My YouTube friends. <laughs> This is from Timo. This is something small from Timo. Um, in one of my videos, I had mentioned that I wanted these tips that are short like this, right? So like that, I don't have to waste my, you know, my extra, extra long coffins. Like my 3X coffin or my 3X square ones. I hate to see them get cut short and waste all that, you know, nail tip. So I don't want to do that, you know? So I wanted some that are, you know, that are this length. But the ones that I'm looking for are the ones with no C-curve. I got coffin-shaped ones that is no C-curve. It's like really flat, flat. So I'm looking for them in square, y'all. And I thought these were it. But see, you know, these got a C-curve to them. I want them this length, but without a C-curve. If y'all know where I can get some at, please let me know. Provide me with a link. I would really appreciate it. These pens, y'all. I already took one out so I can use it, but these pens, these are pens and also for your phone or your tablet, your iPad or your tablet, anything that's touch screen, okay? Anything that's touch screen. So you have two in one. Is a pen. You can write. And you can also use it for Ain't that cool? So you could just throw this in your purse. And I like to use these when I got my long nails on, y'all. Because I hate when I got my long nails on. And my nails get in the way of touching shit. You know what I'm trying to say? So, and then, especially, sometimes I edit from my phone. So this could be more convenient for when I edit. You know? And I could be like this. And move the, um... You know, the little bars up and down, side to side, whatever, you know. So, yeah. And then I bought one separate on the side, y'all. But this this one is not a pen or anything like that. This is just straight for, you know, an iPad. Or, you know, anything that's touchscreen. It got saying both sides. This side and then this side. And the cool thing about this one, y'all, that it came with an extra this. Of... This little silicone tool or rubber thing, whatever, whatever. Okay, came with two. One for each side. One for, yep. And then these, I, I, you know, I have them all over around the house. Like, I'll have one in my nail room. I have one in the living room. I have one in my room, one in my purse. So, like that, whenever I need one. Or even in my car, y'all. Because, you know, in my car, you know, my display is touchscreen. And sometimes my nails, when I have my long nails on, they get in the way to be touching, like, little corner of the screen and i and my finger cannot touch it because my nail is so long it won't let me touch it that i have to bend my finger to go like that and touch it so that's why i like to keep one of these in my car also so, so i'm gonna keep one down here i'm gonna keep one in my car and blah 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 and then also from team y'all look i got all these um teddy bears they glow in the dark they like aurora like the color of them is like aurora that's what it's called aurora uh, aurora oh, whatever and they glow in the dark what the fuck they glow in the dark you see ain't that cute though mm -hmm. look at that it's like kawaii oh my god but anyway, y'all get it, right? And they say it glows in the dark. So let's see if it does glow in the dark. Yeah, they do glow in the dark, y'all. Look. Let's see. So I got the I got it in this color, blue, this color, like a pinkish color. I don't know why I bought that. Like, for real, for real, I don't know why I bought that. Because, for real, for real, I thought it was going to be smaller than this. I didn't think it was going to be this big. 
because I would have put them on my nails. I don't, I don't like none of that kawaii stuff, like all those big charms, candy charms, and all that. I won't do it on myself, you know, or you know, wear it for like an everyday look. No, you know, to do content, yeah, I probably will do it, but to wear it like for an everyday thing, no. And to be honest, like I said, I thought these was going to be smaller than this, and they're not. Yep, so I got it like in this orange color. See, pink. Um, they cute though. Oh, look, yellow. And they glow in the dark, you know? That's the cute thing about it. So, yeah. And then I bought these dry flowers. These dry flowers were pretty expensive. They was like $5 for like one pack. Then I seen like another lister. I think they had it for like three something just for one pack. So I was going to get like a whole bunch of different ones. Like because they got like white ones, purple ones, pink ones, and blue ones. And then I seen this one. I said, man, this one got mostly like, you know, this one is like a garden field type color one. You know, it got different colors of dry flowers. So I said, let me get this one. Let me get one pack. Then I also got them in, you know, dry flowers in the little grids. They come with different little flowers. I got some of those too. So this is it for Timu. And then this, y'all. This right here. My dumbass. Going to order stuff from AliExpress, right? This is from AliExpress, right? So the last time that I ordered something from AliExpress, right, was when I did my nail mail haul and i i did a giveaway of a brush oh um i did a giveaway for an acrylic brush and tammy tamara from arts if arts arts if arts is oh my god i can never say that her youtube name arts if it's not arts if it's nails something like that right i'll put her name right here on the screen but anyway her name is tammy i call her tammy her name is tamara i call her tammy i don't know but anyway can you believe all this stuff went to her house <laughs> Can you believe all this stuff went to her house? I'm over here waiting for my packages. And I'm like, why my stuff haven't got here yet? It says delivered. I'm going in my mailbox looking. I'm like, ain't nothing delivered. I'm going back on this website and I'm looking. And I'm like, they, they deliver it to the, you know, postal office. And I got to go over there and pick it up or something. And no, it says delivered. And when I look at the address, I'm like, what the fuck? I say, how the hell? Yep. So the last thing that I ordered from AliExpress was the, the acrylic brush for her because she won that giveaway. And I, you know, I ordered it and I got it sent directly to her house. Okay. So the address stood, her address stood on my AliExpress app has a default address. You get what I'm trying to say? So everything that I was ordering was going straight to her house because her address was set has a default address. So I'm like, what the hell? Uh, yo, I sent her a message. I was like, you know, she don't have an Instagram or anything like that. So I had to email her. I said, look, if you if you uh, received anything in the mail, blah, 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 that's my stuff. It went to your house and this and that. And she was like, I was wondering where the hell this stuff came from. You know, because when she orders stuff, she orders with her real name. You know Tamara. So when she seen that it was, you know, it said Tammy, she knew that it wasn't her that ordered the stuff. You know because, you know, she don't put Tammy has her name. So she knew there was something wrong there, and you, she knew that she didn't order that stuff. So yeah, so she had to send me all my stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, can you please um ship it to me? I'll pay for your, uh, you know, I'll pay for the shipping and blah 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 whatever whatever. Oh my god, Tammy, girl, you are a fucking wonderful person. This this girl is so freaking hilarious, man. She is so freaking funny. She's a country girl, but she's like a fucking down-to-earth country girl, okay? She ain't your ordinary country girl, okay? She's like a hood country girl, okay? Like, she will fuck your ease up, country girl, okay? She will fucking... <laughs> she will block, block, block your ass in one, two, three, country girl, Okay? <laughs> I'm like, I know that's the fuck, right? So she had to send me all my stuff. I had, I told her, I said, open that shit up. Let me see what came because right here it says that this came and that came. So I want to know for sure if it came, you know, and, and everything was coming at different times. So I wasn't going to have her ship one thing and then, you know, and then something else came the next day or the following week. And then she got to ship that again and pay for shipping again. I said, you know, I said, wait till everything comes and then you get, you know, ship it. 
to me all at once. So that's what she did. So this is all my stuff from AliExpress. Yep. So these are some files. The peeling stick files, y'all. And it comes with the metal. Well, it's supposed to come with the metal piece. This one can come with it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, right here. See? It comes with the metal piece. And it comes with... I know I had ordered two packs. I think one came with uh, 100... It comes with 100 pieces. But I think it comes with like 50 180s and 50 100s. Oh, my... Okay, see? These are 50 packs of 100 grit files and then this one is all, all 180 i thought it was 80 and it comes with this okay so i want i'm excited to try this to see how that works out and then what else came okay then came these little brushes look at these brushes y'all i got these brushes to see if i could work on my frenchies <laughs> Oh shit, no, I didn't even know it came with this. Oh shit, look. No. It came with this. But look, I have bought these little brushes, y'all, to see if I could practice on my Frenchies. Because to do Frenchies with like gel polish or gel paint, whatever, like, I can't. I can't for the life of me. So I'd rather do Frenchies with like build it with acrylic, you, you know? So I have bought, like I said, I bought this to see if I can like... Basically like a cleanup brush. You get what I'm trying to say? See? Basically like a cleanup brush. So I could get that. Ooh. And it's nice and firm. Yeah. See? Because the bristles are little, y'all. So it won't be like all... You see? Since the bristles are short, you could get probably a nice cleanup. A nice straight cleanup. You see that? And then switch it to the other side and then clean up the other side like that. Yeah, since the bristles are short, you don't got to worry about the bristles going this way or that way, you know? And then it feels like it's firm, y'all. Ain't there some gel polishes, y'all, that come, like, in this shape for your French to do Frenches? Right? It go like that, right? And then you apply the other side like that. And then, <gasps> okay, I think I'm getting it. Well, anyway, see, it came, like, three. These came three packs in one. Let's get how... Look at how short this one is. How short this one is. Or um, these really are makeup brushes. Yeah, but I got it for cleanup, cleanup brushes. Look at this, y'all. Oh yeah, I think this is gonna be way better to do cleanup. You know how when you do your line going across, and then you wanna like clean that up and get it nice and straight, <sighs> y'all. Like, this is even good, like, to do eyeliners on your eyelids. See, and then this one is straight. See, this one is in an angle. This one is straight. And this one is straight also, but it's real small. Yeah, I forgot I ordered, like, two different ones to see if there was going to be the same or different. Look. In a way, I'm glad I got both of them because just in case if I mess one up, cleaning it with like alcohol or something, if <laughs> if the bristles get messed up, then I got an extra one. You know? Well, there's another angle one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm liking it because how firm it is. All these brushes right here, clean up brushes. These are makeup brushes, y'all, but like I said, I'm using up for clean up brushes. Nail brush liner. Sometimes y'all order another <laughs> nail brush liner. What the heck? This one is 18 milliliters. All right. Mm, I guess. I better even use the ones that I got fucking now. There's something cool in here, y'all, that I bought that I want to show y'all too. That it might be helpful for us that don't know how to do Frenchies like that. <gasps> yup. I want to show. I hope it's in here. But anyway, look at these. Look at these little um, chains, little charm things. Look at this.
you see? You see that? So this one got three links to it. And in the and also in the like silver black charcoal color. And then this is a drill drill bit holder. Look at this. It's a drill bit holder. I guess you're supposed to like sit it on your desk like that. You can sit it on your desk like that. Yeah, see? Or like that. And whenever you need a drill, you'll be like, oh, let me use this one. Let me use that one. And then you can put it right back in there. See, I don't know why I buy stuff like this. Because me, once I'm done, I don't got no time to be trying to find the fucking hole to put it back in there. As soon as I take it off, I throw it right inside the... I got, got a little jar sitting with alcohol right there. So when I'm done with it, I'll sit it right in there like that. Oh, yeah, so that's a drill, bit, a drill bit holder. Then I got one of these, y'all. Another one. I don't know why I got one of these. I don't know why I got one of these, but I got another one of these. Oh, oh I have bought some stuff for Maniology also. Yeah, yeah, y'all. And I think that's the reason why I bought this. Yep. Does this make a difference, y'all, to do the stamping? Does this make a difference? Like, you have, like we got to use a good quality one in order for it to transfer over, like, with no problem. <laughs> Oh my god, what the fuck is this, bro? Oh, okay, now this is for my um air fryer. Yeah, this is for my air fryer. These are these little like these are like little liners. These are little liners that you put inside your air fryer so you don't gotta dirty it. Your french fries, your wings or whatever, put in the air fryer, and then you just could take this whole thing out your air fryer and your and your inside of the air fryer will still stay clean. Yep, that this is what this for. Little air fryer liners. I'm telling you, I've been ordered all this stuff a long time ago. I don't know what the fuck is what anymore. <laughs> that bag, that big ass bag for this little thing. Two drill bits. Oh shit. This brand, y'all, is a really good brand for drill bits. This brand right here, y'all. Look at this one. Oh, this one could get all up in that um, epinechium. All up in there. To lift up that epinechium up around your cuticle area. Yes, look at how small that is. Yeah, to clean really, really good in the side walls, crevices, and all that. Yep. And then this one is good for the dead skins that is lifted. You know? Oh my god, you should see this freaking mess I got right here. <laughs> I want to do a nail room tour, y'all. I want to do an updated nail room tour. Every time I say I'm going to do one, I clean my room. I get it all nice and clean to do. And then, so you know, see, all right, I'll start doing something else. And then my room is messy again. Oh. What the fuck is this? Why the hell did I buy this? Look at this. Oh, man. I don't know why the fuck I bought this shit for. I guess to do marbling. <laughs> Put a whole bunch of nail polish on your nails and then move. And then use this to maneuver the gels all together. To marble all the gels together or something. Like a magic wand. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah. Or to move the stones. I don't fucking know why the hell I bought this shit. 
I like it though. Good quality. I like it. But I don't know why I bought it. Alright, y'all. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Look at this. Yo, look at this block of... Why did I buy this? Did I buy this to set my... To set my brushes on it or something? <laughs> or to use it as a display for something? Why I bought this? Or to set my charms, my rhinestones on it so I could design my charms before I paste them on my thing. What the fuck? I don't remember why I bought that shit for. But anyway. <laughs> oh. What the hell is this? Y'all, I'm telling you, I'm trying to get my French game on point, y'all. And this is another thing of why I bought this. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't even know how you're supposed to freaking use this, yo. Like, I don't even know how you're supposed to use this. <laughs> oh, my God, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. This is what I'm excited for, y'all. And it, no. All right. Look at these letters, y'all. I know y'all probably have seen these like in gold or in silver. But look, they got it in pink. In pink with some rhinestones on them. Ain't that cute? Look at that. I got them in silver and I got them in gold. But look, now I got them in pink. That's cute. This is what I'm excited for. Look, y'all, this. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. You see this? When I seen this, I was like, OMG. I think this shit is going to make me fucking my French nail be on point. My French game nail be on point. These are like stencils. Like French stencils, but for your dual forms. You're supposed to place this inside your dual form, right? Like, let's say this is your dual form, right? You're supposed to place this stencil, right? inside your dual form like that right and then apply your poly gel or your gel whatever it is i think it's poly gel if i'm not mistaken i think they they did it with poly gel right and you're supposed to place your your whatever enhancements in here right cure it and then you peel this off and then now you got your french look on your dual form yeah, it was something like that. I'm going to put a picture right here on the screen of how it's supposed to be or what. Yeah, you see? Oh, my God. But, see, I bought this to do my nails. Like, to do... Let's say... Oh, my God, y'all. Let's say that this is my fucking nail. Right? Let's say this is my nail. And I want to do French nails. Right? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place... If I can place... If this sticks onto the nail, right? Like, on top of acrylic or something like that. If this stays stuck on top of acrylic or plastic or whatever, oh yeah, look, you see? And then all I gotta do is draw around it with my liner, y'all. Then all I gotta do is draw around it, draw the line around it with my liner, cure it, and then peel it off. And then all I gotta do is fill in, fill in the rest. This is why I bought this. I'm telling you, I bought all this just so I can practice all my French with gel polishes. Gel polishes, gel paints, whatever the fuck it is. Like, this is why I bought this. But I was more excited for this, for this. See? Oh man, I don't think it's gonna stick to it. No, because this is supposed to get stuck to, um, dual forms because i know you're supposed to stick it on the dual form so i'm thinking is 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 that material that it only stays stuck to like plastic you get what i'm trying to say 
yeah, maybe if I'm doing it with like press-ons, I probably can. And then draw it, draw the French line from inside of the nail and then do it like that. It, it comes in different shapes. This is a V-shape. This is more of a V-shape and this is more of the round shape. See? And it comes in different sizes for your fingernail tips. Oh man, I want to figure this out. I want to see how I can use this. My French game is going to be on point. <laughs> I'm going to figure this shit out. Watch me not even use none of that shit. And these are in black. And if I'm not mistaken, these are 80 grits. And it also comes with the metal um, detector. I mean, the metal plate. Yeah, so this one is an 80. This one's 80, and this is 100. 180, 180. Oh, damn. I should have disinfected this right before I applied this file. Oh, well. I'm using this shit on myself any fucking way. Yeah. And the reason why I got this also... Cause it's skinny. It is nice and skinny, and it's um I can get like right up underneath the nails after I'm done. You know how sometimes we gotta push back like the skin to get the foul in there, and sometimes you know like these fouls they be a little too thick to get under there. So that's the reason why I also that's the reason why I got these also. So like that I could get like right nice and you know underneath the nails nice and you know, seeing this one, I think I'm going to use this one for the 180 only because I'm not going to know if I put 180 on one side, 100, I'm not going to know which one is which because it doesn't say it on the board. You get it? So I think I'm going to use this one for the 180 and then I'm going to use this one and put 100 on one side and then the 80 on the other side. It says, you know, since there's two different colors, I'll, I'll know which one is which. You know, I'll know that the black one is an 80 and I'll know that the white one is a... 100 and i think i'd rather put these two together because this is the two most that i'll use more the 80 and the 100 you know mm -hmm. yeah let me do it now because i want to next time i do my nails i want to use it so i can see how it feels how it works how long it lasts at least if i can get like two or three sets out of this one file i'm good mm -hmm. You know what? I can tell that these are already cheap files. Yep. I can tell already that these are going to be some cheap ass files. Just by the feel of it, I can tell. Mm, I don't know y'all I guess I'm gonna have to find out once I use it on myself all right y'all so next up is the Amazon haul I got these gel polishes from Amazon this one right here is the glitter thermal changing from Rosalind I don't know how I feel about this one y'all but anyway this one right here is from born pretty and these are the jelly gel polishes I don't know why I purchased this because I bought some from my cart like from 2019 I still haven't used it yet it's from this brand. This look like it's a cheap ass brand. I probably could have got this from Timu or AliExpress for like two or three dollars. Yup. And look, and I spent what? I know it was more than ten dollars. I know it was more than ten dollars for this shit. But look, yeah, they definitely need two coats. And these motherfuckers better glow. These motherfuckers better glow. I don't see shit glowing. No, I'm expecting for these to glow like out this world. No, for real, y'all. Like, I was expecting for it like to be bright, bright. Because for the price that I paid for them, like, hell yeah. And then right here on the screen, y'all, it looks really, really bright. But in person, it didn't look that bright to me in person. I don't know. I, I, I gotta give it another try. All right, y'all. This is it for my haul right here. This is everything that I got from AliExpress and from um Timu
These are color changing glitter gel polishes. These are glow in the dark. Let's see the color changing of this real quick. I don't think it did anything, y'all, because I think it needs to be dipped in like water, like cold water or warm water for it to change. All right, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. It really means a lot to me. So with that being said, y'all, don't forget you are blessed by the best. So stay blessed, be safe, and please come back again. Love y'all. Bye. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye.